Welcome to Fort Las Vegas Hardcore Land, episode 61, and today we might be finishing this DLC off, and everybody's just started grabbing their spears and walking in this direction, so what's going on? Guys? End of last episode, we got a few quests, including one that uh, requires us to talk to Joshua Graham. Uh, we came all the way to here to talk to Joshua Graham, but it turns out he's still at the Sorrows camp. So what we're going to be doing first is the big horners of the Eastern Virgin. We should find a way up the cliffs near by to here. I'm going to guess it's going to be this will be the best way. Um, there's been a problem with the big horners. I can't remember the exact details of this one now, but there's some sort of issue they're having with them. So we've been told now to find the lost big horner calf and try not to kill any of the other big horners. Ah, uh, we've got to find his way up and around there. Okay, that's fine. Big corner there. Is he hostile? Is he going to be one of the ones that are just territorial? Or is he going to be actually dangerous? I'll try going around him if possible. I'm not going to take any stupid risks though. Run past. I'll go as quickly as possible, but I'm not going to stay around and wait to take damage. We're back to hidden. Okay, so they are seemingly just territorial. I will not kill them if possible. I don't know where I'm actually going here. Let's quickly go to that. I'm going to try to stay away from this one. Stick left over here. And so hopefully with the right direction. Not seeing any enemies apart from big corners yet. This looks to be the right location. And there seems to be quest marker with a little big corner here. Interact. It wants banana yucca fruit. Ah, one right there. Okay, that'll do it. Feels like there's going to be some white legs above me and I'm going to get shot at or something. Which also says to me I should probably get my rapid fire weapon out. Instead, just to cover fire a bit. Feed it a yucca. And now it's following me, okay. Back to its mother. Which one's its mother? This direction. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna charge after me now. I'm gonna call you Derek. Come on, Derek. Ah, uh, by the way, we've come by the looks of things. Can you not come this way? Come on. Oh, it's scared. He wants another yucca fruit. Come on, Derek. Eat your bloody bananas. Come on, this way. Run past that one before it attacks. He seems to have stopped. What's up? It's scared again. This is just... It's just after the bananas, this lad. Have another. Come here. Eat. Now come with me. You coming? Come on, lad. I think this is your mother, this one here, that would block my path first. What? What do you mean, return or keep the calf? I guess I roll for this, but I don't know if you can complete it without taking it back. Anyway. Uh, we do heads for keep it and tails for returning it. You got heads. We're apparently keeping the calf. I guess we can't complete it without. We've got to return it, otherwise the quest won't complete. So, bye, Derek. Have fun with your mother. There's nothing else to do there. I guess we could have taken it back to camp, but no. I support the decision of taking it back because there's no other option. Let's talk to Paul's job. What can I tell you? Um, I don't know, mate. Well, I returned the calf to its mother and didn't even kill any of the big corners. Ooh, glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. It's alright, lads. It's alright. It's alright. And he's put me overweight by giving me a war club. So what we need to do now is talk to Joshua Graham. And we've now got a quest marker on him. Uh, this one is called Civilized Man's Burden. And it was about follow chalk. Wanting to see the world rather than just, uh, you know, the tribal sort of world. They want to see the lights of the city and stuff like that. Oh, is it this campground? This is why. And so is Daniel. The both here. So, trade. Let's do a trade, Mr. Graham. He doesn't have much in terms of money on him, which is unfortunate. So it ended up being a bit more of a complex deal in the end. We're getting rid of um, one of the low... Condition some machine guns, some random crap we had, some random bits of ammo, uh, and stuff we don't need, some meat that's uncooked, uh, Mantis Gauntlet, which are a common item back in the 
wasteland, some other stuff we don't want, and we're getting ten frag mines, and they might be useful, might not be, but I guess frag miners keep the value of a good investment. <laughs> and some ammo that, I don't really want this stuff, but I may as well take it, and that's 102 capitals as well. Yeah, we've got 15 spare weight now, which is a lot nicer. What I'm going to do is get this Sierra Madre armor reinforced up to top condition, because it's not yet losing any uh, damage threshold, but it soon will at the current damage level, so I'm going to take that for a Less than a thousand caps, which is all gay by me. Oh, I can ask Joshua Graham, are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? You are kind to offer, but no, there's nothing you can do. We don't use cabins, but I learned long ago that I'm immune to their effects. It never stops burning, my skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. Yikes. Were you always with the New Canaanites? I was born in Ogden, what people came to call New Canaan. I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to teach the tribes. Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. Was one of those men Caesar? No, not then. Back then he was just Edward. Smart man. Young, but we all were. How did you end up being Caesar's legate? This way lies the path to hell. Ed... Caesar needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Leading in battle became training... Punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. How did you survive? I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left, never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. I'm guessing you don't like Caesar very much. Love the sinner, hate the sin. With Caesar, it's often very difficult to see through all of that sin to the person inside. I can say that we were both lucky that NCR's supply lines and land routes north of Mojave Outpost were destroyed before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Something bad happened near Death Valley at a place called the Divide. NCR couldn't cut across anymore and it slowed down the reinforcements. Terrible storms ripped entire companies apart before they even got to Nevada soil. The aftermath of Hoover Dam could have been even worse for Caesar. What's up the divide? I don't know for certain, and I don't think NCR knows either. Whatever happened at the divide was too much for them to handle. Our Fruman Tarii told us what they saw. Only fools and madmen would march into a place like that. All roads wind down to the same spot. The grave. Follows Chalk seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I've visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? Okay. Whatever you tell him. I'm sure it will be fine. It's still his choice to make. I just want him to make it without looking to me for approval. He's a man. He can make his own decisions. Let's talk to Follows Chuck, and then we'll be on to the final mission. Um, we've already done one of the two sort of big final missions where you choose in between peace and violence, or escaping and violence, I should say, um, in this area. But there's one more that will help us save that. Follows Chuck. What can I tell you? I'll talk to Joshua Green about. Your thoughts on civilization? Yeah. What did he say? Well, this is the choice, isn't it? So, number two, one, and three, I suppose it is. 
A number between one and three. Here's a random number. One. I guess we're going to be truthful. He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea and that I should give you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? And again, we've got uh, two options this time. We'll do heads as the top one, tails as the bottom. It's heads. You should stay here with the people. You have a duty to them. I see. Well, thanks for your telling. I'd like a minute alone to think about this. Thank me. And that's another quest completed, pushing us closer to level 48. Civilized man's burden is done. The advanced scouts. So we've got to deal with the White Legs camp, and we can either do it by stealing their totems, which will sort of not let them rally and organize as I understand it. Uh, we'll give them bad omens for war, I'd imagine. Uh, or we can wipe them out entirely. And it's over in this direction, and what we're going to do is going to go over to this bridge and then make the, the decision from there. Uh, it's going to be certainly close to the location, but I'm going to go on to land about here. We're in danger. Okay. White legs, white legs, white legs. Dog, come in. Not come in. Dog, come down, please. I didn't want to use all my ammo in this. We're doing five for health. I'm going to switch to number eight, which is the 45 auto. There's more enemies nearby, I'm sure. The dog wasn't killed. Up this way. The dog. Might have gone round this way when it couldn't figure out a path to me. Two more there. This is the other one that's supposed to be in that previous attack, I think. Ouch. And the dog is coming also. Oh, there it is. Down. Down. We're in danger from, I think... I don't think it's another one of the tightly tentacle in threes, but there was a uh, another enemy, another red marker, which is probably going to be some wildlife in that direction. I may as well go and take it out. It could be on that mole rat, to be honest. Up there, right? Let's go. Let's go and figure this out. Whatever it is, we can kill it. Where is it? Oh no! It's another one. It's another one. Not many bots left in this one. But it's a less good weapon than my uh, best gun, uh, my, my best uh, rifle, so my best uh, some machine gun even, I can't think, so I don't really mind that, and oh god, there's more enemies. We've got piercing and hollow point rounds in this as well, so I may as well use the hollow point to take out this gecko. We're back to hidden. Now, I'm going to look for a place to swim across, there's no point going all the way around and attracting even more attention than I need to. The so Yagwai yeah, Cup. Um, and a big signal to be more careful. Let's get our main submachine gun out because we're out of ammo in the other one. So be careful. That's the, uh, the little warning shot that Cup. That could have easily got a better swipe on me and uh, taken me out. Let's, we've got tons of stim packs, so I'll just take one. In case. Is that a Yagwa? Another cub. To avoid it if possible. Not sure which tribe they belong to that are down there. We can mm, not really take a drop off here confidently and comfortably. Once we get closer to the cub. I'm going to try and stay hidden though and not attract its attention. I'm not sure if those are friendly or enemy. Enemy. Says to me, Pacientia should be coming out. Dog is down. That was what I was aiming for. To be fair, they might go to caution. They have gone to caution. There's another one further up that way. Hit, but it didn't do much there. Oh, 
Pal, should get involved while I've got a friend. Let's uh, get a bit closer and try and get some VATS hits on him to take him down so our good friend isn't killed. Can we do any more? We can get some better hits on him now. Uh, Just that right leg. Three hits. He's been taken down, so hopefully our good friend should be able to help us out a little bit. I don't use too much ammo. He's down. We're about to hit him. Good, good, good. Coming up on a bridge. I'm not sure we've been this far yet. Let me get a discovery of this bridge. What's it called? I don't know, but there's Cazadors on it. Phenomenal. Bridge doesn't seem to have a name. But we're near Big Horn Bluff. So what I'm going to do first... I'm going to try and take this Cazador out with a... Uh, with Paciencia. Got him. Right. So that is, again, a warning. Cazadores. Cazadores. Hmm, I might have to take a bit of a dunk. The Bend Bridge. Interesting. Right. We are on this side, and... Is that a fight with my people in, or is that... I don't know. We're going to make a choice now. We're going to use, say, heads for peace, tails for violence. Flip a coin. Heads, peace, tails, for violence. It's heads. Peace. We're going to steal the totems from their encampments. Right, there's three things there and a bunch of, a big group of them there. So I'm going to guess the, the three are going to be their war totems rather than the big cluster, which is probably the people. Although I'm not sure. It could just be a camp with multiple people in. I'm going to try and not wipe them all out. We might end up coming to that. There's a camp there and I see people in it. I was about to say I don't have a scoped weapon, but I absolutely do. I can have a little spy on them. The anti-material rifle. That there is the totem. Right. I reckon we get the shotgun at ready. Move as slowly as we can. Towards that totem. Do I have anything that can make me stealthier? What is my stealth stats even? We've got 72 in sneak. Laugh and tome, which we've got tons of. We'll sneak up 20. It's now at a sneak of 92. From what I can see, we don't have anything else that can increase his sneak. We should be careful. We'll try and do it before LaFontaine wears off. We'll go a bit faster on that side. And then sneak slower again here. There are enemies very, very close to me. If I get seen, I'm going to run off. We're supposed to be doing this peacefully. That's the whole thing. But if I can get it, and then back off. A lot quicker now. That works for me. Okay, that's one of the war totems stolen. I believe the other markers in this place are just people. Whew, okay, so that's the lesser one done. This one seems like it might be more difficult over here. Which it would be nicer to take some out before I go in, but it might not be an option. Oh, there's the totem. It's right there. Honestly, it might not be that difficult. We're all facing away. Over there. Get in. Take it. Get away. We're in caution. We're in caution. We're in caution. Run away. We've completed the advanced scouts, but we're in caution. Keep going. This might be level up, but we need to keep going until we're out of caution. We've done it peacefully. Gathering storms has been added. And that is a level up! Level 48! What? will be our next to last perk, if we even make it to level 50 of course. Give me a number between 1 and 13. 8. 8! What's that? 8! Repair! Well, I mean, I'll roll anyway, but it's going to go up to 100 no matter what. 
A number between 1 and 17. Here's a random number. 10. Oh, look. We can only put one point into it. Repairs at 100. Not a skill I use a lot, but when I do keep uh, maintain my weapons, that's not a bad thing to have. A random number between 1 and 13. 5. Lockpick. I'm honestly not against that, but honestly not particularly for it either. I was alright with it at 73. A random number between 1 and 16. 15. Bloody hell. 15. Up to 88. See, that's not really that good because I can't actually boost it to 100 from there. Or maybe I can with, with a locksmith reader, I could, absolutely. So I guess it puts me within the range of 100 if I really need to get somewhere. If I've got a locksmith reader on me, but putting it just to 80, even to 78, could have done that with a hat. A random number between 1 and 13. For the last point, what's it going to be? Five. So lockpick again, up to 89. So this level has put lockpick up to 89 and repair up to 100. Not the best level up, but again, we've, we've maxed out a lot of the best skills. I would like to get speech and sneak, but, you know, it's it's unlikely to happen. It's getting slightly more likely as the options go down, but, you know, I'm happy with that. It's fine. 73 perks to pick from. A random number between 1 and 73. 70. Oh my god, you're going to make me count to 70. <laughs> Tunnel Runner. The Warrens of the Divide have taught you to keep your head down. Your movement speed is greatly increased while sneaking in light armour. That is a great perk. That is actually really good. Now, I've not been to the Divide yet. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm Honestly, yeah, that's a good perk. That is a really, really good perk, that. Sneaking faster, absolutely. Right, so we only have one quest left. We need to go up to the Sorrows camp. Uh, it's called Gathering Storms. We've got to return to Daniel in the Narrows. It's really good, in fact. I can sneak around like that and look at those little legs go. There is Daniel, the man we need to talk to. Daniel! I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Let's finish this, buddy. I checked in everything in the valley and I got you the map of the Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs, despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. No going back. Whether you decide whether the Sorrows should fight or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. You will be unable to finish any remaining quests in Zion... Once you make your decision, so choose wisely. Have I done them all? Let's just quickly check that I've done them all. Oh, hello, that's a lot of experience. That's nearly level 49. We're going to get level 49 this episode if we finish this quest. By the looks of things, I have done everything. I've done everything. So, I need to now decide, with a, a roll of the uh, flip of the coin, whether we are going to do this violently or peacefully. Either Joshua's right, we go with him, or... We'd leave and escape, as Daniel thinks. Flip a coin. Head to the top one, tails the bottom one. Heads for Joshua, tails for it's heads. Daniel. It's Joshua, we're fighting. No, why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. He needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. I mean, I, I sort of agree with the, the decision we've been given there because it's clear that these... that the White Legs are going to hunt the Sorrows and the Dead Horses, or specifically Joshua Graham and Daniel, to the ends of the Earth. Them being here and them staying with these tribes is going to cause them trouble for the rest of the time. Caesar's put out a mark on them and he wants them gone no matter what. Uh, taking out a tribe like this might send a bit of a message to just leave them alone. I'm going to flip for this one as well. He head to top, tails bottom. Flip a coin. It's tails. This is the way the world is. 
They're part of it, whether you like it or not. No. This is how we made it. And we brought it to you. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. All right, Joshua, let's do it. God be with you. God be with you too, son. Joshua Graham has given you the way of the Canaanite perk. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any .45 caliber also pistol, the usual of less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. That'd be good if I use them, but I don't really have the ammunition for it. Crush the white legs. Locate their leader. Yeah, just, just that. I don't know if there was going to be anything else, but it seems to just be to crush the leader of the white legs. I'm guessing it's going to be quite a lot more dangerous now. He's all the way down at the bottom, past Bighorn Bluff. Yeah, get up high, keep up high. Avoid as much confrontation as humanly possible. Because we're going into battle, and we don't have that much ammo. We're, we're doing okay for ammo, not too badly. Maybe Joshua could trade with us, there's something nearby. Oh god, it's, it's right there, they're right there! He's down. Aim ahead. Down, we're still in danger. I should have probably expected that. I don't know why I didn't, if I'm honest. Where is the other ones? Need to be down there. Yeah, my plan of staying up high didn't work well when I ran directly into one. Ooh, that's not good. I think we can scale this fine. Just about. Yeah, we've made it down. Safely. Joshua's going to struggle, but I know, he's there. Joshua's an acrobat, apparently. Keep an eye out, keep vigilant. Maybe some up the top of that cliff there. Joshua's seen them and Joshua's shooting at them. Um, pass the end. I oh, know he's done it. Well, oh, okay. Joshua Graham's pretty competent, it seems. Do not. I mean, it's worked out pretty well for us there, but is he going to shoot on sight the whole time? Because. The time for talk. Yeah, he's just saying that. We can't change his behaviour. Not ideal. One there. I think I got hit in there. We'll make quite a good killing team, me and Joshua. Where now? Oh. Joshua, finish him off, lad. Might have hit him, he's still shooting in the body. We're at that old bridge now, the one that's torn apart. There's an enemy nearby there. Down in one. That was a good shot. They'd never stand alone. There's going to be more this direction. Over there. I see. Hit. Don't know if the second one was a hit. Maybe with a dog. Switch to hollow point and go after the dog. Down. Knows where I am, but he's dead now. Good. Good attack. Good hits. May as well go across the, uh, the water now. There seems to be another enemy somewhere. Up top, I see him. Hold your breath. Fire. Definitely hit him, but it's not killed him. Maybe it's because I had hollow point in. They've got some, arm uh, some armour, but not much. Obviously, hollow point does multiply their armour a bit. Joshua being hit. Joshua. Josh. Oh no, 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 no! <gasps> oh dear, okay, 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 we need, that was nearly death. Could still be. Joshua. <gasps> I thought that was me then, I thought that was me, I thought that was me. Oh, did you see my health? Oh, did you see my health? Oh, bloody hell. I don't even know what happened, I don't know what he hit me with. We need to be careful. Oh. Was it just a brush gun? Really? Ranger Substation Eagle, I think that's where we're heading towards. I think that might be where they're based at. I don't like the stuff on either side of me, they could shoot down at me. 
I think we need to head towards Big Core Block, and that's the only real way. Then again, that looks going to be useful. No, I've got to head south. We've discovered Big Hall Bluff, which is the place we were talking about before. I'm guessing there's a path somewhere. Unless we had to go... Then we had to go there, didn't we? We've got weapons to deal with stuff, and we know what to expect. We've got armour in good condition. This should be doable. The shots, but not to do with us yet. Tomahawk's taking them out. I don't know who's shooting, it could be the uh, allies of us, so maybe we should get in and help. I'll push a bit up. Still can't see where any of the shots are coming from. I think we've got to go around this little outlet of a uh, rock here and then into the water. We're still in here. Doing... The amount of shooting going on, I don't like it because we are not known to be good warriors. Ooh, that's not good, that's not good. We're going to have to open fire in a minute. Go. Joshua, please. Joshua. Where, where's Josh? Okay. Maybe I switch to the shotgun now. Is that an enemy? That's an enemy. That's not the weapon I wanted. At all. He's down. Shoot him in the head. Didn't get his head, so he moved. But we're still taking him down, and we're all right for health. Heal. Right. We are near the little waterway that we need to go down. According to the map. Yeah, here we are. Three Marys. A lot of shooting going on. Quick drink of the water, make sure I'm topped up and move on. I do not want to be running. I don't want to be running out of the water when I'm in the middle of a big fight with a tough enemy. Could be enemies anywhere. Could be traps everywhere. You need to be as careful as you need to be as careful as humanly possible. Just going to be difficult to do, given my track record. There's still shooting going on, which is worrying me. Because it makes me think there's uh, some allies up ahead that are doing the job for me and probably being killed. Yes, there's an ally up there. He seems to be dead now. Or is he? Nearly. I'm not going to have to take that shot, am I? What's the percentages? They were pot shots, I didn't even know I was shooting at that. Damn. Still in hidden. Oh, sorry, still in danger. Caution, whatever. I'm not in a good shape, is the, the point. In danger. Okay, let's switch to shotgun. And stay back doing its job there. Keeping me a bit safer as they were charging. That one's down. We seem to be back in a bit more safety again. Right. A temporary lull in the violence. We've still got ammo and everything, as far as I know. How far are we? We've barely started. Oh, bloody hell, we've got all of this to do. I think all of, all of our allies are dead. Not only that one that we actually saw, but I think the rest of them went down earlier. The right weapon is going to be the 12.7. Can't get up there. Oh! Potentially into danger. Absolutely into danger. Joshua Graham left my company. I lost his perk. Oh dear. What happened to him? Is he dead? What happened to Joshua Graham? Don't tell me Joshua Graham's died. That made me jump a little bit. For did he get crushed by falling rocks? Did he just leave? Did he die? Okay. Only a slight shock there. Get my health topped up. Doesn't matter about using stim packs. And we've got to go through this cave. The Three Marys cave. <sighs> okay. Already enemies on my compass. Get the Paciencia out with. 
Lord Armour. Headshot. Taken out. Reload. Ah, uh, get around the corner. Right, they know exactly where I am. I went too far into the cave too quickly. And get ready to... What does the most damage? Obviously the head, but... Less chance of hitting. Do five there. Most of them have got to hit and do most of them have to shoot. And then we can finish them off, finish them off, finish them off. Reload, 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 reload. Switch, switch. And down. Hidden. Good. That could have been bad, but the fact that we took out the first one was good. Do we have any information about the inside of this cave? I'm guessing I'm going to come out here, which cuts this uh, down quite a lot. Okay, it's up this way now. Don't like going upwards. It's not fun. Oh no, it's not this way. Yes, here. Yeah. Could still be enemies. Actually, that they're going to be enemies. Maybe not in this cave, but you'd think there would be. Nothing of use. Round this corner, what's it going to be? Nothing. This is the end of the cave. Absolutely, is we're back in three Marys. Okay, world map. It only cut us through that short bit there. I thought we were going to take us through the mountain, but no. So we've got quite a long way to go. And go down there. Not see any enemies. I'm going to keep this weapon out in case. I'm going to go around this way. There are traps. This is very unnerving, I have to say. Multiple ways to go around, multiple ways. Could be violently murdered from. Could be checking above as well. Right, I'm confident there's no enemies behind me now, unless they spawn him. Drive forwards. Up to the left, get high. There's an enemy there. If we can pop it to take him down, we can get a good shot. It would be nice to have a silenced weapon. There are two there. They aren't enemies, one of them's a dead horse. It was a scripted event, right? See more totems. I see a friend, but I don't see currently any more enemies. Honestly, seeing no enemies can be more worrying than seeing enemies, because it makes me wonder what comes next. Again, I'm checking the side areas in case. White Legs Camp. We found the White Legs Camp? This is the White Legs Camp. I'm going to stay up top and go over to that one. It might be something a bit more useful here. Get the shotgun out in case anything jumps out at me. I can blast it away then. I think we should be safe in this area. Hmm. Not a lot useful in their camp, from what I can tell. We need to push along that stretch next. We're very, very close to the camp now. I say very, very close. We've been moving quite slowly, so... Still might be a little while until we can actually get there. Enemy marker. Somewhere below. On there too. That one's got a ranged weapon. Very caution. Shoot the head. Miss entirely. I'm not sure if it was a miss or just a clip of the rock or... We did hit, in fact, but it just didn't do much. What we are going to do, though, is get those frag grenades that we picked up and just drop them in. Just drop them in. I'm sure that'll do something good for us. And I think we'll switch to number eight. I'm trying to come round. Mm -hmm. 
give them a good hit. There's two of them up there. One just below us. One gone all the way around. Taking some hits, it is. We're taking some hits from them, sorry. We're still in danger, but that one's dead. The other one I think has killed our friend and we've just merged through a rock. That's not good at all, is it? Oh, this wasn't on console. Oh, that's not good. You got a little punch in, but you didn't do a lot to me. We're back to hidden. I think our friend has been killed by him. We've got tons of ammo for these now. We keep picking it all up. Trying to fall down there again. Seems like a place we shouldn't have got. Actually, should have gone further around the outside, but all's well that ends well. Top my health up, even though it's pretty much at the top. We've got basically over a hundred stim packs. Probably is even over a hundred stim packs. So there, no issue. Just about keeping moving now, and try not to get into danger. Ooh, that wasn't nice. Take him down. Unfortunate that he got me. I was in the wrong gun, wasn't I? I was thinking I had this out. <laughs> Not got as much ammo as I thought for it there. It's fine. We've just got enough ammo to live. Just about. Could be some appear up there. There's an enemy up there. Paciencia. Head shot if you can. Good shot, one behind them as well. They're going to go and uh, put this into caution. Let's try and move in a place where they can't hit us directly. See if we can uh, get a bit higher. They didn't seem to go into. Well, we didn't seem to move into caution from that. I'm going to try and see them. Ah! It's a dead horse. That's why I can't see them. They're not wearing the white. I think they were probably supposed to execute that one, but we caught them before. Better. Good job, I saw that one. If you want to climb the cliffs, climb the hills. I think this is the camp. I think this is it. Let's look now. No, it's not. This is a clearing before the camp. Or... Oh. A camp before the main camp. And it seems to be full of our men. The white legs have been killed. Let's hop down. There are sorrows, there are dead horses. There are no living white legs. Apart from that one. Another one there as well. Let's get hidden. Do we have any. Projectile throwables. Fire bombs taken, throw. Molotov is what that is. And switch to the shotgun. If they come close, get them. I don't want to hit my own men, I really do not. But more of these surviving would only be a good thing. Paciencia, they're nearly dead, they are down. Are we back in hidden? Are we back in hidden? No, we're in danger from that one there. Uh, can't quite make sure I'm going to hit them and none of, nobody else. That's the key, hitting nobody else. They're down, we're still in danger. They're running back here. I'm guessing they're going to know where the enemy are. Please don't just run all the way off. Great. I'm guessing they've just sort of cleared the way for us. And run off. We have to deal with this final battle on our own. We're in caution, not danger. I'm hoping they come running back this way before we have to deal with whatever the end of this DLC is. Right, so we're going to have to go down to ground level. 
top my health up. I know it's high, but we've got so many stim packs, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's a cutscene. No oh, dear. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. Um, you took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva o. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kunaman mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. So, we might be safe now. This might be just a talking situation. Well, this isn't what I signed up for. Let me talk to Joshua about this. Oh, well, you're right. We're going to kill you, but not like this. Defend yourself. So we're going to flip for that one. We're going to flip a coin. Heads will be the top one. Tails will be the violent one at the bottom. Flip a coin. It's heads. I'm going to talk to Joshua about this. Him hear you. You talk. Don't listen to this thing. His cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket. He gave no mercy to my family, and I will give none to his. A number between one and three. One. Joshua, you've already won. Look around you. There's no need to kill him. He has a debt to pay for what he's done, and I've come to collect. And so he's chosen to cower in the water like a dumb animal. And I don't have the speech for this. Who are you to decide this? I am the right hand of the Lord, and the instrument of his vengeance. Oh my god, he's up, he's up. Okay, that's... Not ideal. I guess we shoot some wounds in the head. Um, we need to switch to that shotgun as soon as we get back into the game. 7777. Seven is my stim pack key. Keep them down at all costs. He doesn't seem to be able to do much damage to the others I'm worried about. I think it's only him left. Okay. 12.7. Aim for the head. And he's down. We've completed the quest. Holy moly! It's the same end he would have met if he had That's a level up. <gasps> but I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the White Legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough. And there is much to do. What's well, the level up? Again, we're nearly at level 50. You see that line go up, that bar, it went all the way from 48 to nearly the end of 49 there. A number between 1 and 13. 6. Medicine. A number between 1 and 17. Here's a random number, 14. Well, that just goes up to maximum and that is now our fifth skill at 100. A random number between 1 and 13. Sneak, finally. Please all 14 into this. A number between 1 and 14. Be good. Be good. 4. 4. At least it's a nice round number, I suppose. A number between 1 and 13. Here's a random number. 12. Survival. That's not what I want. A number between 1 and 10. 1. And now it's not even a round number. A number between 1 and 13. Sneak again, we've got another chance. A random number between 1 and 9. Here's a random number, 6. That's better. Three points left to assign. A random number between 1 and 13. 3. Explosive, something we don't see very often. A random number between 1 and 3. Explosives up to 52, and the last point goes to 
A random number between 1 and 13. Come on. Give me a good one. Here's a random number. 5. And Lockpick goes up to a nice round 90. We don't get a perk this time. But level 49, we have Explosive up to 52, Lockpick up to 90, Medicine up to 100, Sneak up to 86, and Survival up to 81. Not a bad level up, it's a shame we put those points into Survival, and to be honest, a shame we put some points into Explosives and Lockpick. We weren't particularly needed anymore, but not too bad. We got some points into Sneak, and we maxed out Medicine, and happy overall. And that's the end, I believe, of Honest Arts. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs' diminished numbers reached the 80s tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the Dead Horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the Courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. The Sorrows' transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Sion, but it was a small comfort. The sorrow's innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the white legs from Zion, the dead horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribes' conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. Follows Chalk took the courier's words to heart and decided the big cities of the Mojave Wasteland and NCR were best left unexplored. Though he sometimes dreamed of distant lands, he continued to support his family at Dead Horse Point. And eventually, his wanderlust faded. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys, Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses intending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least appeased. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. We have completed Honest Arts. We've completed Old World Blues and we have completed Dead Money. All that remains is the last journey to the Divide. And also, in I believe it's this box, this footlocker, <laughs> we have just their clothes. They left us their clothes, which is quite interesting, honestly. So the there is a light shining in the darkness, which I believe is Joshua Graham's unique 0.5 auto pistol, which I'll take. 
there is Joshua Graham's armor, which is pretty good. It's a light armor, damage threshold 15. If you compare that to this armor, it's not as good, but the critical chance will be pretty nice, and it is half the weight. So that's something to consider. Then we have Chalk's headdress, which you know, isn't that good. <laughs> it's, it's okay if it was in melee weapons, but I don't do melee. There is Salt Upon Wounds Helmet, which is a bit better, 4 damage threshold, a critical chance and sneak, so that might be good as sneak armor, but I don't think it is for the weight. And his Power Fist, which, you know, it's okay. It's unique, so I've got to take it, but it's not that good, is it? Some Scripture, which I'm not going to take, uh, quite honestly. Daniel's Hat, plus 5 Speech, plus 1 Perception, it's okay. And Daniel's Outfit isn't that good, really, but it's fine, I suppose. The quest we've been given is to return to the Mojave, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Quest completed, departing paradise. Next time we start a brand new journey, but from the Gambler, from Zion, and now the Mojave Wasteland, it's time to say goodbye for now. This is me, Smoke and I are playing Fortnite Vegas Hardcore Relent, episode 61. And from me, Joshua Graham, and, uh, and Zion, thank you for watching, and ta -ra. Mm -hmm.